Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I have. I have rejoiced. I went to the um, house of God this morning and I just didn't want to say anything because, you know, um, I just wanted to wait. But I actually performed one of my new singles that's coming out out actually on my new album so i'm excited getting ready to go into the studio actually do that it's called i want to fall in love with jesus christ i think you guys are going to love it one of my best ones yet per the holy ghost so if you can just go ahead tag and share because i promise you you're gonna like this oh come on somebody hallelujah so um who so much going on come on somebody hallelujah but i'm gonna tell y'all right now you gotta be strong you better be strong i'm gonna say it again you better be strong Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and tell you, um, my title is the said the Lord, be encouraged despite of what the enemy does, despite of who the enemy uses, despite of what the enemy does. I mean, do, let me tell you something right now, just like I've been on here a couple of days saying, I haven't seen the enemy this powerful in a long, long time. That lets me know that the remnant is on edge of a breakthrough. We're on the edge of the anointing of God. We're on the edge of the supernatural. As a matter of fact, can I tell you something? That's what the pastor told me when I went to perform at his church today. I'm sorry, minister. You know what he said? He said, hey, supernatural. And I was like, oh, I received that. I had never got called that, but how I received that. And I'm saying this to say this. I've been getting hit hard. I ain't lying. Ever since I got blessed the first time. Y'all know what? It's been about two months now. I mean, the enemy been, been using everybody. Oh, my God. I can't even explain it to you. At, at one time, I was like, God, what's going on? And, and he said, Deanna, you remember? Bishop T.D. Jakes wrote a um, book years ago, and it was called, Can You Stand to Be Blessed? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I feel the power of God. Yes, I can stand to be blessed. Yes, I will stand. Yes, I will call on you, God. Yes, I I will minister God. Yes, I will pray God. Yes, I will praise your name. Hallelujah to his name. Let me tell you something. When the enemy comes in the flood, God said, I will lift up a standard against them. You don't hear what I'm saying. It doesn't matter who or what. You have to fast like you ain't never fast. You got to pray like you ain't never prayed. You got to go in your word like you ain't never went in your word. And be careful what you say and do. I got to put that in there. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. It does not matter who you are. When you are called of God, you have to say what thus said the Lord. And people might get mad. Oh, I'm going here. I knew you was going to do that. I knew you was going to do that. Let me tell y'all something. I am ordained, mandated by God to tell you what God says. Whether you're a family member, a friend, a foe, a boss, I really don't care. And I love you with all due respect. But I'm going to tell you what does say the Lord. And if you get mad, that's fine. When you send other people after me, though, you, you better be careful. I went on Facebook this morning, and I, and I don't want to bring this up. God is intervening. And I'm not going to say too much on this matter. Be careful what you write. Because you're upset because somebody said, thus said the Lord. If it had been wrong, then y'all could have got mad for real. But, but it was on the money. So y'all should have started praying. I started to start attacking people. But I'm going to give you that. Because you're going to need that. Because I'm anointed. So I'm going to tell you right now publicly, I forgive you. I forgive you. But now I'm going to pray for you. <clears throat> what? I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> if it had been a false word, then hey. But y'all know it was a real word. So you attack. Try to make me out to be the enemy. I love you still. But y'all need to know something right now. I am who I am by the grace of God. The mercy of God. The love of God. And I change not for nobody. I got to say what God want me to say. I got to do what God want me to do. I got to go where God want me to go. I don't even have a suggestion about it. Hallelujah. We as Christians need to stop that foolishness. We got a real enemy out here. He's called the devil. That's our enemy. Our brothers and sisters is not our enemy. The only one enemy, and that's the enemy. And the enemy is trying to take us all down. Because you see, a house divided cannot stand. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Don't y'all understand that? So now the enemy, I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. He's starting little fires all over the way. All over. Little fires. What you better learn to do 
It's the lift up God like never before. What you better learn to do is get in his presence like never before. What you better learn to do is minister like never before. What you better learn to do is praise him like never before. Because when praises go up, blessings come down, not necessarily monetarily. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you today. Because the remnant is getting hit. Oh, the true remnant. I'm talking about y'all fake people. Y'all fake people, y'all ain't feeling that. Y'all getting out here and hallelujah. I mean, y'all just so too cute, too cute. I ain't got time to be cute. I, I'm facing some real demons. Hallelujah. Y'all talking about some real ones. I ain't entertaining nobody. Hallelujah. To his name. It's time. I hear God calling the remnant like never before. Go deeper. Go higher. Watch your mouth. Watch what you say. Watch what you do. Watch where you go. This stuff real. Them demons are, what? The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy you. He's not playing with you. You're playing. But he ain't playing. He ought to kill us all if he have to. But God said, nay, I have six, seven thousand that not have bowed down to Baal, the remnant. So you got to be strong in the Lord like never before. And when you fall, get up and come back for more. That's how we do it. We don't get mad at each other. We don't, yeah, yeah like, like, like a little, no, we don't do that. We pray, Lord, help my sister. Lord, help my brother. Lord, keep me. Lord, keep me. We better start praying, P-R-A-Y-I-N-G, instead of P-R-E-Y-I-N-G. Because y'all got that down, pat that part. Don't y'all understand what time it is? The reason why people out there die is because the church ain't trying. I'm going to say that again. People dying because the church ain't trying. Y'all too busy wanting to be branded, want to go all over the world and preach, but yet, hey, hey, oh, I'm about to go here. Some of you don't need to be preaching. No way. If your house, oh, I'm about to say something. Your household, this is scripture, by the way. If your household is not in order, you have no business preaching or teaching or nothing. Sit down and get right. Too many of y'all in a pulpit, pimps, imps, simps, prostitutes, playing with God. I'm telling you now, this is a dust said the Lord. Some people going to start falling down dead in them pulpits playing with God. And hold on, the pulpit could be this too. Because this is a pulpit. Anything the gospel. Anytime you preach the gospel. Anytime you sing the gospel. Anytime you minister the gospel. It better be right because you are before the people of God. And you will have to pay one way or another if you lying. If you playing. If you straying. Come on somebody, hallelujah. God is getting his church right. He said, this is my church. I'm coming back for a spotless, blameless, clean, pure church, a holy church. Let me, get, let me tell y'all something in, in one minute. Holy God, Holy Spirit, Holy Church, Holy Bible. Ain't nothing unholy in that. God is not, he doesn't have swag. You don't be trying to be cool. You don't be trying to get followers. He's trying to save our soul so we can meet him up in heaven. I'm sorry. It's going to, the rapture going to come. But not before the church repent, God says. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But ain't nobody want to hear the truth. Y'all want to hear, turn around five times, jump up and now you're going to be a million dollars. You're going to have a million dollars. Yeah, whatever. Don't you understand? We got to come together in love. You see, God is the foundation of love. But just because I love you don't mean I can't tell you the truth. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. We have a church that's unchurched. Y'all, I'm telling you, they're sending imposters like never before. What is an imposter? Somebody that want to be your friend, your lover, your husband, your man, your wife. Y'all better test everything by the Spirit. I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying that they sending in people. They send them to me. Oh, I've been checking people at the door. I'm serious. Somebody tried to come help me today. I looked at them like they was crazy. Yeah, I did. I don't want you touching me if you're a demon. You crazy? Nobody playing. That's what's wrong with the church. Let me tell you something. I ain't this new church, all right? So that's why my demeanor is the way it is. I belong with the whole church. We talking about the disciples that didn't play. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't with this new church. Because y'all new church, y'all too cute, and y'all doing too much stuff, truth be told, okay? I'm with the old church. I'm checking it at the door. Get mad if you want. I'm checking it at the door. And if you're dirty, you're dirty. I'm going to still love you now. But I'm not fooling with you. Y'all better start having a standard. I ain't saying acting arrogant, bougie, and all that. Have a standard. Have honor, walk in integrity, walk in love, walk in truth, tell the truth. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. 
All right, that's all God told me to tell y'all, so I got to get up out of here. I love you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Real Life Soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Let's go.